Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Mel Nostalgic Runner, and this video is not gonna be too long. We are back for another Get Fit With Me series presents accountability. And yes, I've been delayed in doing these type of videos um, just because honestly, life has been lifing. Um, <clears throat> I had the holiday weekend, so I was busy with that. And really, I had to refocus my um, goals when it comes to what I'm doing, you know, uh, when it comes to the running of it all. So for those who are not aware, I am training for a 50K. Um, and my ankle, the one that I injured back in April, it definitely set me back by a lot. Um, it is better. And um, so we're good on that, but Honestly, it has been hard mentally to keep going. So I had to refocus my mentality when it comes to all of it. And so what my plans are is, I think I mentioned before, the goal is just to get through the 50K. It's definitely not going to be a PR because I'm not even close to that right now. And that's the part that's been bothering me. I'm not where I want to be as far as like my running goals are concerned. But I know I can get it done. And I know I can get it done relatively injury-free. And I, I can get it done injury-free as long as I do the training enough to do what I need to do. So that is the goal. Um, <clears throat> I do actually have a half marathon next weekend that I'm doing. And that's going to be a gauge. Um, I have a long run I'm doing this weekend as well. That's going to be another gauge. I did a long bike ride during the holiday weekend. And that was a huge gauge. And um, I was actually proud of myself for that. And then I think I am going to do a marathon um, when I get back. Um, because part of my training is my peak running distance is around 28 miles. And so... I figured if I at least just get one marathon in before the 50K, because 50K, for those who are not aware from the States, it's roughly about 31, 32 miles, depending on, you know, the trails and whatnot. Um, so I want to make sure I get that done. And honestly, if I can get those couple races done and I don't feel like horrible, that will let me know, okay. We can do this 50K and be done with it. And then after the 50K, I'm going back to basics. Like, I actually changed my training plan completely uh, moving forward. So my next half that I'll do after that 50K is not going to be until June. Um, I'm just going to work on getting my base running back, go back to going to the gym four times a week, I'm also going to try to do spin classes in the winter months because my biking endurance isn't even where I want it to be either. Um, the tricky thing when it comes to both the injuries I had last year and this year, it's like my feet. <laughs> and so it kind of stops me from doing stuff, you know. So that's going to be the focus. That's what the plan is. So I, I feel fine. Um, I think I'm finally in the right mentality where things are going to get done the way they should get done. And I think I will get back to where I need to be. That's not the concern. I just want to make sure I do it the right way. And I want to make sure I do it worth, without burning myself out or re-injuring myself and, you know, whatnot. And um, I do still have the option to do physical therapy. I'm debating whether I will do that or not just because... I don't know. I don't know what's stopping me from doing it. Honestly, I think part of it is just, it's the expense because I spent so much money this year medical wise when it comes to getting an MRI and everything. I just don't, <laughs> I'm done. I, I, I ain't gonna hold you. I feel like I'm just done paying for medical bills. And also with me being, you know, me switching jobs, the deductible that would have had around this time I hit it later, so I'm paying more than I would have paid if I would just still have my old job. So there's just a lot going on. And um, also, I guess with that being said, these Get Fit With Me series presents accountability. It's not gonna be consistent for a little bit. Um, I probably should have mentioned that the last time I did it. Um, 
Just because at this point, I really want to truly focus on getting this 50K done. And once I get that done, I can really put all my eggs and focusing on getting back to the basics. Um, and I also will share my training plan that I'm using, that I'm going to be using. Because um, another thing I've also think I've done, made an improvement on is I'm getting a lot more walking in. I'm not driving my car nearly as much. That was one of my major main missions of this year was to get back to not driving my car as much and that mission has been completed um i'm not running as much as i would like still but i am getting my cycling in more and um i'll mention the other milestone that i did recently that i was super proud of myself about so one of the things i did do um over the weekend is i did do a 36 mile bike ride and it wasn't the fastest 36 mile bike ride, but it got done. And there was a day, the holiday weekend, I don't know if it was like this for all y'all, but in Chicago, the weather was perfect. So it wasn't too hot, it wasn't too humid, it wasn't too cold, it was perfect for bike riding and for just being outside and being active. So I took full advantage of it and I did my long bike ride and not only that, I my road bike, the one I use, is like much quicker and faster of a bike. I actually had to take that in to get serviced. So I actually did this on my commuter bike, which is actually more challenging. So the fact that I did this on my commuter bike and it felt good, it wasn't horrible, I wasn't too sore. Um, and then the next day I went to the gym. Um, I got in five miles before I got to the gym walking miles, not running. Um, yeah, I felt good about that. And then I took yesterday off and then today I actually got in, um, well, I take that back. Yesterday I did not really quite take off. I, I ended up getting a two mile walk in because I walked in my bike that I serviced. I went and got it back and just walked back. So I kind of used that for what it was because the bike shop I take to is a mile away. So I walked there, got it, came back, um, and then did some errands and stuff. And then today I ended up running four miles, walking a mile, and so I got five miles in. So I'm getting the distance in and the endurance is starting to feel good, starting to come back. And that's actually the reason why I wanted to do the bike ride because if my endurance is not there for a long bike ride, it's not gonna be there for 50K for a run. Um, it had to be there for basically 50K for like a bike ride. And I did, of course, literally more than 50K, but the point's a point. <clears throat> so I felt good about that. And really, I feel just like a lot better um, when it comes to my health and wellness. I am taking it a lot more seriously now. Um, than I ever have just because <laughs> I need to make sure I'm able to still run. Running is one of the things that keeps my mental health in check. Um, I do have some, um, I do have a mood disorder. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna like say exactly what it is, but I definitely have a mood disorder. So um, it, and at this point, and I and I and I do, I, I have a psych, I have a psychologist and everything. So like, I, I I'm getting, I'm, I'm treated. <laughs> I'm someone who's treated. Um. So, but um. My point in putting that out there is me being active, me eating a certain way, me being really healthy. It really, at this point, still keeps it under control where I don't have to be on medication. And that is my goal. I do not want to ever have to go on medication. I'm pretty sure the older I get, I probably will eventually have to go on medication. But at the moment, um, I try to seek balance. And for the most part, I have been able to do that. Um, and I try to make sure that whatever I have going on does not impact my day-to-day -day life. And it does here and there for me, but outwardly, um, 
because I, I actually check in with my friends to see like, hey, was I? And they're like, no. <laughs> you know, and even when it comes to like my family, they're like, hey, was I? They're like, no. Um, so yeah, but anyway. But that's kind of where I'm trying to continue to focus on. So this has been really, I guess, the year of truly focusing on myself and really trying to get my health and wellness together and um, doing a more of a mental health check-in than I have before, um, especially because of the changes that I had recently in, re <laughs> in the past six months um, when it comes to both jobs. Um, even actually my company that I work at now had a layoff too. And it kind of re, <laughs> it kind of re-traumatized me with what happened with my old job. So I was like, wait, not again. But um, I'm not worried about it, you know. I'm going to continue to live life and do what I try to do and, and do my best. And that's all I can do. And I'm going to continue to work on my goals that I have. And as long as I'm doing that, and as long as I'm doing my best, we're good over here. So anyway. That's pretty much, I guess, all I wanted to say and all um, that this video is going to be about. Um, I get some programming updates. You're going to also get through Housewives of Orange County um, coming up soon. I actually already saw it, so I'm going to review that. Um, well, I'm going to post this. I'm going to post this the next day. So you're going to probably get this video after I post the Real Housewives from Orange County, um, to be honest. Um, or, no, 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 no. I'm going to post this first and then the Orange County review will come out um, the next day. Um, but, yeah. And then Real Housewives of Salt Lake City is coming up soon. So that's going to be another thing I'm going to re be reviewing. Um, I also see that... Uh, Real Housewives of Potomac is done. Real Housewives of New York is done as far as filming's concerned, I think. Or, yeah, I think it is done. So that's going to be new shows that are going to be coming on when it comes to the fall slash winter months. So you'll be occupied with that. Um, I am going to go back to resuming doing yoga. Um, again, I just wanted to get through this 50K so I can get back to basics and really focus on just, you know... <laughs> getting things together um and then what was the other thing that real housewives miami i'm not sure when that's gonna come back but hopefully soon because for those who are for those who know that's my favorite franchise like hands down so that's the one i'm looking forward to and the real housewives of atlanta uh, should be coming up soon too i don't know how i feel about that one because a lot's changed with that. They're doing kind of a soft reboot. So we'll see on that. But anyway, that does conclude the video. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content. Um, and these videos when it comes to the mental health check-in slash Get Fit With Me series presents accountability. Um, I'm going to get back to the regular Get Fit With Me series soon after the 50K, as I mentioned. Um, but yeah, these just will not be as consistent. Um, until I get through this race, which will be done in October. So beginning of October. But anyway, I will see you next time. <laughs> and again, please like, comment, subscribe. And bye.